The passion I have for this game is so minuscule compared to the first one that I have decided that I'm gonna try and reignite it with my favorite character, playing just for fun, not even every day, from time to time, and see where it leads me. Two important points for the plot of this video. First one is that you gain points for both losing and winning in this game. Losing being like two or three points or something and winning is five. Also, number one, All Might at the time had 3k points, and that's not a lot. In comparison, number one, All For One has almost 20k points, and coincidentally, that was the first person I have ever fought with my All Might. I got destroyed, but still retained the high spirit because, come on, first game, the second one is going to. Not good. I'll tag him. He didn't release it. He was waiting for the support! My armor is too slow! It's okay, it's okay. Dodge it. I couldn't dodge it. I tried to. Oh, this was... I didn't know why I thought he was going to guard. And he perfected me. Just like that, I began one month of absolute hell. My respiratory system is basically destroyed. It's like the fourth time. Not a good number. Not that I'm complaining. I can just look at All Might's face and complain. I'm trying not to complain in life in general as much as possible. It's probably why I admire positive people so much. For me, life's very purpose is to make you feel down. Throw obstacles at you. Disadvantages. So when you choose to remain in high spirits in face of misfortune, it's as if you're winning over life itself. At least that's how I feel. Or make myself feel better. Whatever makes more sense. 
I'll take a step back. I'll see if I can get uh, a Volsplat, maybe. No, that's inconsistent. I can try and bait. Empty jump. Sometimes, depending on what caused the knockdown, you don't get to land fast enough and they just hit you in the air while you're trying to bait something. I'll leave him in the air, see his reaction, collect some information. He did nothing. He attempted to warp me. I don't know if that move tracks. I'm gonna leave him in the air again, maybe bait something. I did bait something. Or not! Wow! I cannot believe I got Rappa as well. Even got a perfect? Cannot believe my eyes. Finally! I'm not the one getting perfected. Oh, he's pissed now. I think I'm almost hearing the boss music. Should I break it after the super? How much damage can he do? He can do more than 60%, right? Should I leave it to another round? I think I should leave it to another round. Because he's wasting everything to... He's not really wasting much though. I did... I just let it roll. <laughs> oh god, he's doing some shenanigans. Imagine coming back from that. Imagine. The character is one for all, right? We're going all in. A bunch of drop, but even though he attacked me in the back. <laughs> Imagine coming back from this. A mistake. It should be a lot of damage for me. I have one bar. He's not breaking. It's not gonna equalize things, but it's gonna be something. I'm gonna bait. Waiting for the right move. <laughs> Imagine. Oh my <laughs> god! Imagine. Imagine! The egg not exploding. Oh, uh, by the way, I kind of forgot to mention, this is also a story of how I became number one All Might. And yeah, I know, being number one in this game is the equivalent of a kid saying, I'm the best in the sandbox! But if you think that the point of this video was about boasting, uh, you didn't get it. The point was... But out of all the games that I know, this is the only one where you can lose 70% of your matches and still score high on the leaderboard. Which in turn does make me a number one loser of anything else. For all credits, 